With Just in Mind, you can create and simulate an advanced slideshow in your interactive prototypes. In this example, we will use conditions and variables to create a slideshow. To reproduce this example, open a web prototype that already contains a dynamic panel with panels each presenting one slide of the slideshow. The prototype will also contain grouped left and right arrows. Go to the Variables tab and create a new variable. Name it Position and write the number 1 in the default value box. Click OK. We will now add events to the right arrow so that you can slide to the left. Go to the Events tab. Add an on-click and Set Active Panel event. Select Panel 2 as the Active Panel. Add a Slide Left Transition effect. Click OK. On the left of this event, select the Add Condition option. Drag the variable to the first position of the Expression Builder. Drag the Equals function to the second position. Type the number 1 into the third position. Click OK. On the right of this event, select the Else option. Add another On Click and Set Active Panel event. Select Panel 3 as the Active Panel. Add a Slide Left Transition effect. Click OK. On the left of this event, select the Else Add Condition option. Drag the variable to the first position of the Expression Builder. Drag the Equals function to the second position. Type the number 2 into the third position. Click OK. On the right of this event, select the Else option. Add another On Click and Set Active Panel event. Select Panel 4 as the Active Panel. Add a Slide Left Transition effect. Click OK. On the left of this event, select the Else Add Condition option. Drag the variable to the first position of the Expression Builder. Drag the Equals function to the second position. Type the number 3 into the third position. Click OK. Select the Else option. Add another On Click and Set Active Panel event. Select Panel 1 as the Active Panel. Add a Slide Left Transition effect. Click OK. On the left of this event, select the Else Add Condition option. Drag the variable to the first position. Drag the Equals function to the second position. Type the number 4 into the third position. Click OK. Now add another event. It will be an On Click and Set Value event. Select the variable as the value to be set. Type the number 1 into the text box below. Click OK. On the left of this event, select the Add Condition option. Drag the variable to the first position of the Expression Builder. Drag the Equals function to the second position. Type the number 4 into the third position. Click OK. Add another event. It will be an On Click and Set Value event. Select the variable as the value to be set. Click the Calculated button below and drag the variable to the first position of the Expression Builder. Drag the plus function to the second position. Type the number 1 into the third position. Click OK twice. You can now simulate your prototype and click between the slides. Now we will add similar events to the left arrow so that you can slide it to the right. Click on the left arrow and go to the Events tab. Add an On Click and Set Active Panel event. Select Panel 4 as the Active Panel. Add a Slide Right Transition effect. Click OK. On the left of this event, select the Add Condition option. Drag the variable to the first position. Drag the Equals function to the second position. Type the number 1 into the third position. Click OK. On the right of this event, select the Else option. Add another On Click and Set Active Panel event. Select Panel 1 as the Active Panel. Add a Slide Right Transition effect. Click OK. Select the Else Add Condition option. Drag the variable to the first position. Drag the Equals function to the second position. 
Type the number 2 into the third position. Click OK. On the right of this event, select the Else option. Add another on click and set active panel event. Select panel 2 as the active panel. Add a slide right transition effect. Click OK. On the left of this event, select the Else Add Condition option. Drag the variable to the first position of the expression builder. Drag the equals function to the second position. Type the number 3 into the third position. Click OK. On the right of this event, select the Else option. Add another on click and set active panel event. Select panel 3 as the active panel. Add a slide right transition effect. Click OK. On the left of this event, select the Else Add Condition option. Drag the variables to the first position of the expression builder. Drag the equals function to the second position. Type the number 4 into the third position. Click OK. Now add another event. It will be an on click and set value event. Select the variable as the value to be set. Type the number 4 into the text box below. Click OK. On the left of this event, select the Add Condition option. Drag the variable to the first position of the expression builder. Drag the Equals function to the second position. Type the number 1 into the third position. Click OK. Add another event. It will be an on click and set value event. Select the variable as the value to be set. Click the Calculated button below. Drag the variable to the first position of the expression builder. Drag the minus function to the second position. Type the number 1 into the third position. Click OK twice. And that's it. Click Simulate to interact with your prototype. You will be able to move between slides both left and right.